All right, guys, uh, let's move on to story number two. So this has been really the talk of the town, I would say. There's been 1.9 million patient records exposed in the healthcare debt collector ransomware attack. This is professional finance company, a Colorado-based debt collector. And uh, the customers include hundreds of US hospitals, medical clinics, dental groups that recently disclo disclosed that private data, including names, addresses, social security numbers, and health records uh, were exposed. Uh, I also want to point out that the subheading of this uh, headline is the P in PFC now stands for pwned. What do you have to say about this? Well, first thing that I would say is that we are getting closer and closer to what Steve mentioned several times about you being at risk uh, with your very same with your very own life. I mean, when it comes to this kind of hacking or breaches, because Somebody decided, I mean, in this case, the data got leaked and got exposed. But let's say that somebody wants to take that like one step further, start tampering with that information. That's going to be a life threat situation right there. So it's, this is really, really concerning, really disturbing the way I see it. You, they you have, yeah, go ahead, Frank. Uh, sorry, they said they had detected and stopped a sophisticated ransomware attack, right? Uh, during which criminals accessed files containing data from more than 650 healthcare providers. Well, it does not sound like you have stopped it then, <laughs> like you have stopped it. I want to point sophisticated, somebody double clicking an, an exe file. <laughs> also that. <laughs> well, they're, they're like, it's, it's all right, everyone calm down. Uh, we got this. Maybe 1.9 million of you out there shouldn't worry. But overall, uh, should worry. But overall, we're fine. Well, they they stopped uh, it after the attack. <laughs> it's like, look, <laughs> yes, the bus crashed, but it stopped, right? So we and can say that the Malaysian airplane <laughs> stopped the crash. It landed somewhere. It landed, yeah, somewhere. Yeah, it landed. it landed. They they stopped it. It's not still ongoing. Yeah. Uh, the so, crazy so thing Debbie is laughing in the background, and I think that's a great point. That that is very inappropriate to laugh, but but very appropriate, right? At the uh, same I time, told, yeah. I told you guys I, I would take care of the shaming part here. The, we'll cut this part. So, you got this so done the, right. The the crazy don't you thing, dare doing that. <clears throat> the crazy thing about this story is the company that was breached and ransomed they purchased healthcare records from hospitals so the hospitals didn't get breached the hospitals basically had 1.9 million people that they provided services to those people refused to pay the hospitals gave up on trying to collect payment and then they sold their medical records to this other company. I, I think it's insane that a hospital can sell someone's medical records to a collection agency because uh, the hospital has a, has a duty, has a HIPAA duty to protect that. But I don't know if this collection agency does. I mean, if, if the collection agency does, then they're about to get hit by a uh, $1.9 million uh, or 1.9 million <clears throat> person fine, and that'll probably drive them out of business, right? But it sounds like hospitals can sell medical records, which sounds shady as fuck. I think this is a so they scenario do. where everybody wins. Yeah, yeah. So they do. So been there, seen that. They do. They sell it to collections agencies. Um, the collections agencies are just strictly brokers of data and they don't care um not gonna name names or anything but but seeing this in the past do do the collection agencies and i i would assume via the transitive property that the collection agencies also have to follow nope HIPAA. nope 100 ridiculous ridiculous uh, i agreed um, well, and, is, and the thing is, none of these hospitals, none of these hospitals, because they see it as data, gonna, 
None, none of these the hospitals data, which, are, are going to claim. I agree with you. Yeah, not, none of these hospitals are going to claim that they are breached or that there's any HIPAA violation because they sold right. it. They they didn't they didn't give it. They, they didn't have a duty to protect. They sold it to Bob's collections who then got broken into. That's me. That right. means it's not their responsibility. They're, they're not responsible for that. Those copies. Well, they sold data. Right? Well, yeah, but. No, the, the, only, the only place that covers you, if, if I'm not mistaken, and don't take this for, you know, any source from this podcast or anything like that but um would be actual pci things like that but hipaa is not covered under that secondary source yeah no one cares about pci the hipaa's hipaa's the big boy that that assigns major fines for record mishandling so if if it's not hipaa then no one cares and then I and then I will also say, they don't actually care about HIPAA. They care about getting some big, you know, super hospital, et cetera. Um, at this point, uh, yeah. So, in summary, uh, this whole situation is fucked and should never have been allowed to begin with. How about we don't allow the selling of HIPAA data? without also the responsibility that the data also has to be protected with HIPAA. 